Hi Virgo, welcome to your end of February 2020 general tarot update. It's Rena here. So I'm using the Wild and Known Tarot deck for this. I think I'll just pick the top. Ugh, this is such this is good cardstock. The only thing is that it's hard to pick up. I don't know if it's because it's matte, but it's you know you do not want bad cardstock when you're doing these types of readings because you are, uh oh, I think these are t stuck together. I'm going to have to do both of them if so. Is this? Sure seems like it, yeah. So I'm putting these as two of the past position cards. Both, both, um, pentacles, by the way. Wow, these are nice cards. Man, oh man, oh man. There's your card, the Hermit. Someone was telling me, because I got it, I got the Hermit for another sign. I mean, you know, with this deck. And they said they were something with a tortoise. And they thought that was really synchronistic. But they, I guess they have a pet tor tortoise or something. So that was kind of funny. All right. So, um, you know, we're going into Pisces. As I record this, we're having a Mercury retrograde in Pisces, and Mercury retrogrades in general, you might hear from somebody from your past. Well, guess what? In your opposite sign, Pisces, opposite house, this is a seventh house, this could be an ex relationship. So, the thing is, oh, is this page a son of sorts? Okay, um,. The thing that I would say about this is be very aware of that fact that somebody may come back because you might have to be, you know, on high alert because if this relationship didn't end well and you feel like it wasn't right what that person did, they may try to apologize. They may try to do something to soften your resistance to them. And, you know, I'm not against forgiveness. I'm simply saying that you want to be careful that you're not getting bamboozled again. The heart of the matter is the Son of Swords. And this can be this sense of, um, you know, that, you know, perhaps it's that person, because this is even in the challenge position. So for you, uh, Virgo, Gemini might be that individual, if it's a, an air sign. And the Son of Swords can also be connected to lawyers, teachers, people who are outspoken. If you have found your voice, it could be you too. In the past position, we have two money cards, the four of pentacles, um, which is about sound money management, and the nine of pentacles, independence with your wealth or your what have you, your the, the money that you have. So... You may have been, tr you may be trying to protect your money legally for some reason. Uh, I guess it's possible that this is a love situation. Let me look at this challenge card. The Three of Swords. This deck does not show a heart, but in the Rider Waite deck, it certainly does. It can be um, rejection, a feeling of. Uh, a feeling of, um, you know, heartbreak that you, you know, feeling that emotionally bothered by something. Now, when I see the nine and the four of pentacles, I think of perhaps a Virgo person who you are very, maybe you're holding on 
with the four to your money. And you have made good choices in life financially. If this is something with an inheritance, a um, divorce, and you have felt like the other party is trying to take from you what you have rightfully you know, built up in your life, the Son of Swords can be either you're going to speak up and really defend yourself and fight it, or you're going to get somebody to do so on your behalf. Um, I'm trying to think of any other scenario where this can be what's going on. The higher message is the Ace of Wands. This is a card, I love this depiction of the Ace of Wands, of new exciting beginnings like kind of the springtime of your life. And in the Northern Hemisphere, of course, we're going to have that in March. And that feeling, oh yeah, you know, come to think of it, you are having a um, full moon in your sign on March 9th, Virgo. So that could be, you know, really highlighting relationship issues. The sun will be in that seventh house at that time and it's like you seeing your needs that you need to have met you letting go of or you know ending a certain way of being and that might be the 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 transition period so because i don't really get i label these readings for certain time frames but it's not really like that for me so it can play out in different ways perhaps but yeah that sense of you know what this represents to you in your in a new life scenario um you you may the ace of wands to me is that you know enthusiastic new beginnings maybe that you've been waiting for for a very long time and although it may hurt to let go of something that you have to. By the way, I just thought of something. The three of swords in the challenged position, you, be careful of not feeling sorry for yourself, but also don't allow a relationship that really is over, but for the shouting, to drag on. You might have to. The In the upright position, the ace of, I'm sorry, the three of swords can even be like, a, sur a heart surgery, but it can be like severing ties to somebody just very um, decisively. You know, not on again, off again type of thing. I love the Ace of Wands. It's one of my favorite cards. What's coming in or the advice is the Hermit. I just think that's the cutest depiction of the Hermit. And they have to have that flame, uh, which is your inner light. So uh, you may be kind of uh, keeping to yourself right now as you go through certain things, you know, maybe through that first part of March, where, as you are letting go of certain aspects of yourself and um, preparing for what the Ace of Wands really is promising for you. The springtime of your life, you know. The outcome card I have is the Mother of Cups, which translates to the Queen of Cups. It's a Cancer energy. Um, to me, I see it as very psychic and with the Hermit, coupled with the Hermit. Um, maybe spiritual studies that that's what's really important to you right now. Um, and maybe part of that is to kind of deal with a certain situation that has arisen, that either some kind of a legal battle to kind of put it in perspective, or simply um, in the case of like a divorce, 
where, yes, I mean, your assets may come into question or there might be some debate with them. However, it can also be that you are um, simply feeling that sense of um, trying to heal because the, the, the Mother of Cups can be about, to me, a card of healing, uh, being a healer yourself in the way that you know how but first healing yourself, uh, nurturing, this is a card of nurturing, but I would say nurturing yourself above all. Okay, that's what I have for you, uh, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you would like a personal reading, the link is below. Take care. Bye.